Marcy here. Welcome back to another video. Right now I am in Chilliwack. Um, it might be just kind of a random kind of vlog today. I'm just going to go around Chilliwack. I do have some other filming I want to do for other videos, but I just thought I would just film little snippets here and there, see how it goes. So come along. <laughs> just finished up some filming at the Great Blue Heron Nature Reserve for another video but I just went inside the interpretive center they're really friendly in there I got some uh, cute little uh, things in there to take home I'll show you what I got in a second um, but also behind the back of it too they showed that there's a bunch of uh, bird bird feeders so you can just sit there and watch the birds it's so pretty so relaxing so I got this coloring book birds of brown creek wetlands they said brown creek is like one of the little creeks here um because so, I just wanted to make sure that the birds featured are going to be you know ones that we can see in this local area and here's an example of the little cute little uh, details here of the bird and then you have a little coloring page so you can color it I just thought that was really cute and then the proceeds go to support the local interpretive center here I wasn't sure if this was gonna work but I thought this was neat I got a bird call leave a message after the peep this is from beetle and bee garden so just a little handheld device here you just hold the wood part in one hand and the brass part in the other and then you twist them together it says but I'm not sure what this bottom thing is in this little orange file but anyway I'm gonna give that a try one day see if that works yeah so I definitely recommend if you're going to the nature reserve here definitely stop by the learning center it's run by volunteers they're really friendly those ladies and I didn't want to film in there because it just would have been weird but I took some pictures they have like kind of um, taxidermy animals you know different birds um, I imagine that were found in the local area here and the bird feeder in the back they pointed out the bird feeder and like how many birds come there and it was actually really nice to see it's actually really relaxing and there's just so many birds some birds I haven't even seen before anyway so it's just after 12 o'clock now I've been here for about an hour and a half and I walked probably like you know almost three kilometers just doing the little loop here in the nature reserve um, again that was for like another video for another nature video that I was filming but I thought again I'll do like a behind the scenes vlog today because I'm probably gonna stay in the Chilliwack area and just um, kind of kill some time going out and about but anyway it's 12 o'clock now so I'm gonna find something to eat I ended up stopping by Kim's fried chicken to grab some lunch I never been there before but I do love Korean chicken so I thought I'd give it a go I ended up getting the boneless chicken combo the eight-piece chicken with large fries cheese and sauce for sauce I chose the spicy sauce they also gave a little side salad I don't think it normally comes with it but I guess they just gave it anyway so that was nice and I wanted to take something home for dinner so I didn't have to cook later I ended up getting the 14 piece of the boneless chicken with honey garlic sauce okay that chicken was seriously seriously good so I had the one person combo or the combo came with eight pieces and fries with cheese I thought it was just gonna be powdered cheese but it was like actual pieces of cheese like marble cheese it was so good I ate about half um because with the fries and stuff like that it's just actually was really filling and I got some to take home that's gonna be great um it's really good really recommend the Kim's uh Korean fried chicken in Chilliwack it's just off of Vetter Road and um, I tried other Korean chicken before like Chico's chicken like the kind of franchise kind of brand this is better and it seems cheaper too it seems like pretty good value for money um, anyway I'm just at 1881 now it is 220 I did some other errands that's why it took me so long just to get here I'm just gonna do a recon kind of mission of this little shopping district I'm definitely gonna come back with Peter and Angelina and we're just gonna enjoy some festive fun here but I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and yeah I just want to quickly peek in and see what's here oh. So they're all decked out for Christmas now with cute decorations. I think the Ferris wheel and all that is just special for this Christmas event. I don't think they have it the whole year round. So it's four degrees now, but I left my coat in the car because I've been uh, way too hot today. It was minus one degree when I left the house today, so I bundled up and then now I'm way too hot uh, walking around. But yeah, definitely a little bit chilly still, four degrees only. Look at this cute place. Look at this cute little patio here, so Parisian. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this Thunderbird Lane. This is gorgeous. I know we're going somewhere Into the danger zone It all points right to 
lots of construction still going on here. I don't know if this is for Christmas specifically or these are just more shops they're building. But there is a lot of cool photo opportunities. I really love how well they did the Christmas decor here. And of course this amazing giant tree. Here's a peek at the Christmas train. I think it's $5 to ride the train. Honestly, I have no idea where it goes. Probably just around the little <laughs> 1881 square here. Little elves. But yeah, I'm surprised they're doing so much construction here with so many people. It's kind of makes it really loud and busy, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. Get your Ferris wheel tickets here. Okay, so Christmas train, $5. Ferris wheel five dollars and you can buy them at Elevated Pizza and at the Ferris wheel. Got little mini donuts here. This area is called Sasquatch Alley. Yeah there's like a brewery area, there's a coffee place, wine bar, little restaurants, cute little gift shops. So I'll definitely come back with Peter and Angelina to do shopping. We want to get coffee and to stroll, take pictures of course, especially with the Christmas decor. It looks so cool in here. I didn't end up spending that long at all at the 1881. The parking there was kind of crazy. Um, there wasn't many spots and plus it's pretty small and I just wanted to do a quick recon kind of mission. I was just there for like 10, 15 minutes. I just did like a loop and a half around. Um, now I'm at the Chilliwack Welcome Center, like the visitor center. It's just off the highway here. There's some museums, um, like a heritage museum. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go take a boo over there, see what's happening. Oh, it looks so cute in there. It's like a little western town. I wonder when it's open. Definitely it's closed now. Chilliwack Agri Fair, August 11 to 13th. Tons of parking here. This parking lot area is huge. This is Chilliwack Heritage Park. They're doing some kind of like BMX racing in here. I don't know if they're just practicing or this is a competition or what. You can really hear them in there though. actually a really cool area here there's even more back there what is the what I don't even know what this area is for but there's the museum this big building here here's a good view of the museum Waking up to another day. looks like a cool Barkerville kind of old Western town, that's so cool. I don't know if this is a recreation or if these are the real buildings. Achillitz Town Hall. And I don't know if you can go inside this building. This one says museum as well. Achillitz Threshermen's Association. All right, and this blue building is the visitor center. I'll give you some information on the local attractions around here. So apparently the center is closed from November 25th to December 3rd. You can find us in District 1881 downtown where I just was. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, well, I'll have to come back another day. And this, I think, is where the two Stolo figures were here. Then Maybe they just take it down for winter. Let's go look at these figures here. Stolo welcome figures carved by Chief Terry Horn. Welcome figures. Carved cedar welcome figures also play an important role in welcoming visitors. There are usually two welcome figures. One represent the woman and one to represent the men. In the past these figures are permanently situated in front of the village facing towards the river. Today these are permanently placed in front of buildings facing toward the road or parking lot. And here's the figures here. Again, I don't know if they're in here all the time or just because they're renovating the place. But I do know in summer, when I've dri driven by here in the summer, they're standing outside the welcome figures outside the welcome center. It's cool to get an up-close view of it though. 
Wow, nice big map here. So we are here at the visitor center uh, where we just were. The 1881 is number six. Where's number six? There? That doesn't sound right, does it? It's on this little map here. It says that 1881 is number six. I think that's wrong. I think it's actually number eight. So I started my day off here at the Heron Nature Reserve and then went along here, had my lunch at the Kim's Chicken. I went up to number eight there, 1881, came back down here on the highway to the visitor center. Okay, so that was a bit anticlimactic considering the visitor center was closed. Um, so I <laughs> couldn't really see anything or get information about anything, but it was cool to check out the museum. I definitely have to go there when it's open, probably just open in the summer, I imagine. And um, yeah, so I'll just end this video here. Hope you enjoyed my afternoon in Chilliwack, coming along with me to some of the different attractions here, the Great Blue Heron Reserve, the 1881 district, and here in this uh, visitor center area, even though it's not open, gives you an idea of what is here when it is open. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You're all I'll ever need. Did not make you laugh Did not make you smile Did not make you feel like you were happy for a while